Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. They say he shot at his ex-girlfriend while their kids were inside the car. Our Christina Van Zels joins us live now from outside the Milwaukee County Courthouse where that man was in court today. Steph, prosecutors say Teron Ederson actually has a history of domestic violence and he was out on bail at the time of this most recent shooting for a prior domestic violence conviction. But this is what he asked for in court today. This is not Teron Ederson's first time in court. Um, he does have three prior convictions. Prosecutors say he has a history of domestic violence, which landed him here again. Same was how the person to run Anderson. The 27 year old is facing multiple charges for incidents between September last year to May. The most recent was last Friday near 64th in Congress. Investigators say Ederson was helping the mother of his kids move when he started threatening her, even choking her. That woman says she's a witness in an open case Ederson had for a road rage shooting. She told police he said, quote, I'm not going back to jail because of you. The victim drove to her mom's house out of fear. That's when police say Ederson showed up and started shooting into the car she was in. Their two kids were also inside that car. One of the bullets hit the woman and at the hospital, she got this text from him. The defendant was out on bail involving a shooting um, where the victim in this case was um, a witness. Both kids were unharmed. In court Thursday, Edgerson asked the commissioner a few questions, including being able to see his kids. Yeah, there's no way she can drop in no contact with the victim. I R E and A R E the children. Not at this time, sir. You can talk to your attorney about that. If convicted of these charges, Edgerson could face more than 100 years in jail. Ederson's bond was set at $50,000 today. He'll be back in court on May 26. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.